Hello and welcome to Great Scott Gamers. My name is Dave and today we're playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles. This game came requested from Skullboy345, so thanks very much man for requesting this. Um, actually, the original plan was to um, play this on my um, Sega Saturn, because I actually have the, my original Sega Saturn that I used to play when I was younger. Um, but I went to the bother getting all the cables for it and stuff like that, and then um, it turns out my capture card doesn't work with it because of like resolution and stuff. Oh man, check this guy! What a dick! He only appears for like two seconds, and then you already hit him. So yeah, so like, Skullboy has requested a bunch of Sega games, so um, I wanted to play at least one of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I managed to get this on Steam anyway, so that's pretty good. Uh, I'd have preferred to play it on the Sega, but it's going to take a bit of effort to, uh, a bit of time and effort to get something set up so that I can actually do that. And I thought, well, rather than, yes, rather than uh, making it take ages until um, I can actually play this game, I'd rather get a video video done and relive some awesome Sonic. Adventures! Yeah! Man, uh, this really takes me back. I used to play this game all the time. Back when I had, like, no games, and a Sega Saturn, and, like, this, and, uh, what else did I have? I had Se Sega Ages Volume 1, and, um, so that was, like, Afterburner and, like, Outrun and stuff like that. Um, what else? So I, I had Sonic Jam, so that was, like, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, um, which was awesome, because it meant I could play them all on one disc. Um, and I don't know that I would say that I'm all that great at Sonic, but, you know, I'm better now. I, I'd, like, I never used to be able to do these. Like, I could do the first one and then <laughs> I couldn't do, uh, I couldn't do any more, but, um, when Sonic Mania came out, like, I was so happy because, like, Sonic, this is, controversially, Sonic's been pretty terrible since, uh, since it went 3D and stuff like that. I, knew, I know there are some people that are like, oh, shit. Uh, oh, shit. I nearly fucked up. Um... Man, this is going to make people dizzy. Um, I know... Ah! Oh, I dropped my concentration for literally a second there. And that's that's not acceptable when you're playing a Sonic game. You can't do that. Okay, well, we fucked that up. So I guess we're not getting all the Chaos kam chaos Emeralds, but that's okay, because we're never going to get them anyway. Um, so, probably the best game in the series. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the chat. What? In the chat? In the, yeah, in the chat. I think I'm live streaming. Um... Let me know in the comments what your favourite Sonic game is. Let me know if you like the new 3D games. Why you think you like them. <laughs> why, uh, or if you prefer the 2D ones, let me know why you prefer the 2D ones. Oh man, the music in this is amazing. So I don't know if uh, people know this. Uh, probably, probably most people do, most Sonic fans will know this. That um, The music in Sonic 3 more more Sonic 3 than Sonic and Knuckles, I think, but I think the two games was heavily influenced and slightly co-written, I think, by Michael Jackson. Um, he was a big Sonic fan uh, back in the day, and unfortunately, you know, he turned out to be a bit of a, a, a dick, but um, his music's still pretty fucking awesome, so uh, that's why I think... Um, Sonic 3 in particular and Sonic and Knuckles music. I actually prefer the soundtrack to Sonic and Knuckles, but Sonic 3 is pretty good as well. Um, let me see. So I'm, I'm pretty sure those bonus stages you've probably noticed, but let's let's get a move on, eh? It's a Sonic game after all. Let's get to the fucking... Let's do this. and Let's just fucking gravity run up that fucking tree. Never understood. Like I, get, I mean, I get it. He's like meant to be running up. Oh, first boss. Shit. What's, what's going to happen now? It's going to be this guy. He's literally can't kill him. And he just turns everything into fire, and that's it. That's game over, guys. Sonic's dead. Sorry, guys. Um, Wee so I think the red ones are like those... Ah, so this is the stupid, like, bouncing side to side and get a power-up thing. Do, 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 do. What's that? What's B? Ah, oh, it's electric. Can you get one-ups? No, you can get one-ups on this. Yeah, you can. We want a one-up. Oh, fuck. And now we've got fire. That's not really what we want, is it? Ah, oh, I think I fucked it. What's rep? What does rep mean? Ah, well. We fucked it, guys. We fucked it. It's alright. We've got a flame shield and a flame level, so that should help. And the flame shield lets you go like that, and then you almost die. Yeah, so it does help. Kinda. Um, 
Another thing about the Sonic games, like the one that I was telling you about, I was playing when I was kid. When 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 I was kid, when I was kid, I would play um, Sonic Jam. I would play it so often, but I would usually only play it on like easy mode or like normal mode. Um, there was like you could change the difficulty in Sonic Jam. There was easy, which was like really really easy. Like in fact, it was so easy that you. I don't think it it made you do like Act Two in some of them. Like it was dead easy. Uh, right, so this is, this fight actually counts this time. Yeah, it's a good thing we got a flame shield because he's got like fire attacks, so this should just be a piece of cake. Um, well, it should be anyway. Can I still get him? Yeah, I can. Sweet. There we go. All done. All done in a bun. Oh yeah, just yes, invincibility right at the end of the game. Yes. Let's listen to the theme tune, guys. Get all these points. You can literally do this forever, uh, so I'm not gonna. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm amazing. Do you keep Do you keep your power up for the next act? You probably do. I probably wasted that infinity. Diggly did it. Diggly did it. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh well. Ah, but then music changes again. And we want to hear the awesome music. Yes. But yeah, so like I was saying before about the um, the music, that's why Sonic Three in particular is quite hard to get on like collections and stuff because. Um, the rights to the music are kind of owned by different people. Um, I don't think Sega or Team Sonic or whoever it is owns the or like straight owns the rights to the to the music, so they have to share it with other people. So that's why it's a wee bit tricky for them to sometimes uh, include Sonic Three in particular on collection games. Um, this one is part of the one, the Sonic, um, so not Sonic, Sega Mega Drive collection um, that's on Steam and at the moment, as of recording this, it's on sale until 22nd of July, I think, so you only get two days. But, um, in fact, never mind, because this video is going to go up after that, so I'm talking to you from the past! But anyway, um, I was like, the whole collection was like eight quid, so I thought, right, why not? I'd already bought Shining in the Darkness to do that um, Let's Play, uh, it cost me 79 pence. Uh, and I really like I was going to get the whole collection because it was like twenty five pounds. I was just going to I was going to get it, and I thought, oh, well, I'll probably use these games at some point in the future. But now it's eight quid, eight pounds fifty. So I was like, yeah, so I'm glad I waited. Um, so, aye, but um, in order to get around the music problem for some of the um, some of the releases of uh, Sonic Three, yes, I finally got one. Um, they actually changed the music for some of the levels. Uh, I can't remember exactly which ones it was changed, and I don't know if this is one of the um, one of the releases of the game that has the changed uh, music. Uh, it'll be interesting when we get there because the changed music, although it is good, it's still not as good, and of course it's not the original, so uh, that sucks poopy pants. But um, oh, we're gonna lose our fire shield. God damn it! Um, I think you lose your electricity shield if you go for it in there as well. But don't worry guys, we're a bubble now, so we're, we're definitely safe from all these sp spiky things. You know, st all, the, all, the, all the enemies in Sonic are traditionally spiky, so a, a bubble of water around us will definitely help. But it does stop you drowning, so that's pretty good. The, the drowning, the, the possibly the most uh, anxiety-driven thing in your entire childhood. <laughs> playing games, playing Sonic games in the 90s. And then fucking did comes on and you're like, oh shit, I'm gonna die. So that's what true fear feels like. Yes, let's get another fucking bonus stage, why not? Is this another bouncy one? Oh no, it's this. I'm s I'm s I am the sock at these. I really am. Because I can't get fucking back up into them. What am I doing wrong, guys? Tell me. What am I doing wrong? Is it just trial and error? Is it just literally luck? Because there's no fucking skill involved in this. Cause. Uh, even if even if there was skill involved in it, I wouldn't have a chance anyway. But ah oh, fuck, see straight into the fucking goal. Who cares? We don't need it. I'm I'm better than that anyway. Lol. Dun, 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 dun. We've, only, we've only spent a whole minute in this in this zone, and already I'm fucking shit up. Oh well, he he he, he took it. Free, we got free those flickies, man. Oh my slow motion. Come on, Sonic's a bit running fast. You've got to go fast. Have you not heard him? You've got to. If you don't, you're you're not playing it right. Ah shit! I went too fast. <laughs> um. Oh. But yeah, like I was saying about the difficulty levels. Like, so I would play on easy mode most of the time because I guess I didn't like challenge. Um. It was fun just to play through the game. But um. Yeah. So like quite often until I got a wee bit older, I wasn't playing through the entire game. And um, even normal mode wasn't the same as like what the, what original mode was. 
because uh, there was an original mode as well, and it was what was on the on the original cartridge. And I believe that's when, like, yes, you had to kill, you had to. What am I doing here? Am I going this way? I think I'm going this way. Um, oh, fucking hell. Ugh. Right. So this this is not fun. But yeah. So yeah, I had to like hit bosses for like more than. Oh, why have I done this? Oh wait. Okay, I saved it. Thank God. I meant to do that. Um. Yeah, you had to hit bosses more than three times and stuff like that in the original copy. Get T fuck. All right, well, you can you can live, you can live. I decided. Bonus stage, b -b -b bonus stage. Is it bouncy one? No, it's this one. So you can get a shit ton of rings in this, but I don't think um, I don't think really it, it it does anything else. Although I guess rings would be useful for yeah getting an extra life. Like, I guess I just did there. Did it? I don't think so. Why did it do that? Why did it make that noise? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know what that means. Oh, you Sonic fans out there? Team Sonic? Oh, so you guys excited about the Sonic film? Because I'm not. <laughs> it looks awful. I mean, really the only thing about it is that um, Jim Carrey's playing Robotnik and I think that's probably quite a good idea, but um, the rest of it's just going to be terrible. Like. Like, like the 3D Sonics, I think a live-action Sonic is just the worst idea ever. But I also think that the, the current, current trend for um, live-action animation films... Oh, fuck's sake. Live-action animation films, you know, like The Lion King and um, Aladdin and stuff like that, is kind of... I, I, get, I get it, right? You're trying, to, you're trying to sell these franchises to a new, a new audience of children. Yes, level up. Level up? No. Extra Sonic Man. Um, extra, extra hog. Oh shit, it's this thing. I remember having difficulty doing this part before. Do you not have to like jump and avoid these bombs or some, some shit? Or do you just keep running? Ah, that's right! You just keep running and you're perfectly fine, whereas Tails is like getting absolutely owned. <laughs> He's like, really? Can, can you not let me pass you, Sonic? Please, just, just let me pass. There's bombs. Ah, why? Why? <laughs> Sonic, help! Please! And then fucking this guy making all these noises and stuff, kicking about in the back of the forest. I guess we're gonna have to fight him now because he's gonna bro he's gonna bro up this bridge. God damn it! He does have a kick-ass theme tune though. I'm getting the I'm getting the um, I'm getting the goosebumps, guys. This is it. This is my childhood. Growing up in the nineties, playing fucking Sonic games. What? What? Yeah, he, he totally bit the bit the bullet there. He died a death. He sucked. He sucked all of the lemons, and he did not enjoy it. Yeah, Sonic got through Act Two. Is there an Act Three? Don't think there is. I might be wrong though. Yeah, so take it to the bank. Nah, it's it's not Act Three. It's fucking this bitch. Do you know that theme tune? Like, it's pretty cool, right? Oh, Hydra City. Okay, so that's a good place to end when Sonic and Tails fall to their death into Hydra City. So join me again next time for some more Sonic 3 and Knuckles action. See you then.